Hi, and welcome to Cellcrypt Shorts. My name is Simon Bransfield Garth, and today we're going to talk about voice security and some of the steps that you can take to ensure your calls are secure. I think the first thing to say is the easiest step of all is to assume that your calls are not secure. By assuming that your calls are not secure, it then causes you to take common sense steps to ensure that people can't easily intercept your calls. Once you've taken those common sense steps, for instance, not having a conversation in a crowded airport lounge or on a train, then there are some other things that you can do to ensure that your calls are going to be secure. One of the most important is to keep your phone safe. It's possible with many phones to be able to install software onto those phones, and that software can act like a spy inside your phone, recording all of your conversations, all of your text messages, and any other communications that you can do, even if the phone is switched off. So make sure that your phone is kept safe at all times, and consider perhaps putting antivirus software onto your mobile phone. The next one that's worth looking at is pins, particularly around voicemail. Of course, it's generally sensible not to leave any sensitive information on voicemail, uh, just as you wouldn't tend to leave sensitive information uh, with emails. But nevertheless, it's a good idea to use the PIN numbers on your voicemail system and make sure you change them regularly. Don't forget, anybody can access your voicemail just with your PIN number if they only need to know your mobile phone number. And finally, for those conversations which are sensitive, maybe they're a business conversation, Maybe they're a discussion with a, uh, an attorney or with a uh, medical practitioner. Then maybe you ought to be considering voice encryption. Voice encryption these days enables you to put software onto standard mobile phones and to have an encrypted phone call as if it was just a normal phone call alongside all the other fun functions of your mobile phone. If voice encryption isn't available, then there are a number of common sense steps that you can take to protect yourself when you're having phone conversations. Perhaps you can speak in code. Perhaps you can refer to other documents. For instance, you could say uh, referring to the customer we were discussing yesterday or other such things. So when you're having a phone call, think about the content of the phone call. Think about the security, both of the call and the environment you're in. And then you should be as protected as you can be from interception of your calls. So thank you for listening to this CellCrypt short, and I look forward to welcoming you to a future one in the future.